Hello and Happy New Year from Alice Smith at 361 Recovery Programme and I would just like to wish everybody a happy 2020 and share some of the things that I've been doing this morning to actually, um, I know that goals are, I know life gets in the way of goals, I more than anyone else know that, but still it's good to set them isn't it, even if we've got to be, learn to be flexible about whether they actually, we can achieve them or not. So I wanted to share what I've done, it's very scribbly, but I put 2020 at the top there and then I made some headings. So. I've got business as one, so you could have work for one. Uh, I've got money goals for the second one. I've got travel for the third, so that's business or work, money, travel. Then I've got recovery goals because I am in recovery uh, from mental health, trauma and um, for sobriety. So whether that applies to you, I don't know, but I've got recovery goals. Obviously, they underpin everything because if your recovery isn't right, you're not going to be able to achieve anything. And then five, I've got artistic goals because I love my art and I love my writing, but you might want sport goals or something else. These are just mine. Then I've got family goals because I'm very family orientated and I look after a lot of my family members. So I've got business or work, money, travel, Recovery should have come first, really. Artistic, family, and then I've got health, which I suppose we all have, health goals. And finally, relationship goals. I'm not looking to date anyone, but relationships, believe it or not, are not all about sex. So this, this is um, to do with me wanting to mentoring young mentor some of the younger members of my family and setting boundaries with uh, some of my other people in my life so yeah relationship doesn't have to mean love so what I did is I got the goals so write all the goals down and then underneath I just just sort of brainstormed everything that I wanted to do so I'll just give you a bit of an example so for um, let's see recovery I've got stay sober launch this recovery program continue my morning pages which I do every morning set up a 361 community um, get some healing from hopefully from my friend in life support Tina Makeda and I've got a holiday uh, that I want to do which is part recovery and to maintain a work and life balance so everything my sobriety underpins every single thing everything else on here so you jot down those things and if you don't know where they sit well you can work it out um, you've got work money they might cross over a bit family and relationships might cross so for health I've got lose a bit of weight well I didn't feel fat until I went onto this thing where I had to hold the handles of it at the gym and it told me it had too much body fat which has upset me a bit um, I don't know how it knew that from me holding these handles but it pronounced it on me um, and I've I'm vegetarian now so I wanted to uh, increase and things that I'm happy with so things that you're happy with like I, I'm happy with the exercise I do so just continuing that yeah so maybe you need to have different more checkups or maybe you're neglecting something which is really common uh, with the mental health problem to neglect your physical health so maybe you need to put that on there but then from that, it, you know, it came that came quite easily. And then I thought, hang on a minute, I'll try and put short term, medium and long term. Because to be honest, that just looked like a huge, ah, what am I going to do? So next to it, I put short term, if I could achieve it quite quickly, medium or long. So I'll give you an example. This is a difficult example, though. Stay sober. It's short term, medium and long because it's a day to day goal and it's a goal for life so i suppose that's a bit of an unusual one but let me give you an example of a short term um basically uh, increase income with some more tuition clients that's a short term goal i can do that really quickly and i can um continue my morning pages that's every day that's another one like sobriety daily short term if i want to lose this apparently this body fat I've got I think that's pretty short term because I don't feel too fat I may be in denial I don't know and then some longer term goals setting boundaries with people uh, that might take me a long time because that's hard for me I want to go to Belfast at the end of the year and so that's a goal right at the end and um, encouraging someone to be more independent obviously that's not going to happen overnight 
then when you've done all of that if you're not sure about short medium and long think to myself how long is it going to take me to do this it's going to take me forever if it's continuous for the rest of my life it's long if it's something really quick for january it's short and then all i did was i just ended up with this a nice list of all the short-term ones and so i've got set up a podcast get some more clients um i've got um well, make soup it's ridiculous really limit uh, limit sugar make an appointment for something so these are my now my january and february goals now if you when you get to that point you can split it up even further if you want and set per week and give give it dates or put it in your calendar or or however you work but i think that seems pretty manageable to me i'm, I'm quite happy with that so uh, why don't you try it i'd like to know how you get on with it because goal setting is all about you know don't overface yourself don't give yourself too much food to eat or you'll just go nah i'll watch netflix and look out for this podcast that's coming out which is probably going to be not so much my miserable life as my weird 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 shit life uh, that's com- that's on the short term goal So I'm just going to sit here and ponder now. But Happy New Year, everyone. Find out more on www.goddess.co.uk. I wish I'd worn makeup. To eliminate my body fat, as it is, is the goal. (laughs) Bye for now.